can I say that's, that's one of the best things ever. The smartest one in the fight who walks away from the fight. Always. Because, yeah. Yeah, because they have nothing to prove, do they? What do you need to prove? Yeah, I, I don't I don't see. I've, I've been around. I mean, you know, conflict. Yeah, I did the first Gulf War. Uh, I did Bosnia. Um, fighting. No, it's not for me. I've, you know, I don't want to do that. But if I can help it get better grades at school, if I can help an adult who's struggling with some internal struggle, you know, some internal fight, then yeah, that's what I'd rather do. Um, walking away, it's not hard. You just turn around, but keep an eye on them at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> Try and have an eye at the back of your head if you can't do. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, um, as you mentioned, uh, Aikido involves grappling and, and everything. How is it different from other grappling martial arts, such as judo and jiu-jitsu? Well, um, with, with judo, of course, it's a sport, so they have rules. Um, so the Aikido, the way it's taught, can be, depending on who's teaching it, can be quite similar to jiu-jitsu, uh, although we don't do generally groundwork. Um, but the idea with Aikido is there is competitive forms of Aikido, but that's not the one I teach. It's about two people working together as one, um, helping one another. You know, for example, so if, if I want to teach someone how to do a technique, you know, I, I, I'm going to give you my wrist, you know, and say, do this technique on my wrist. Um, I'm not going to struggle. I'm not going to resist you because, you know, if, if I'm doing that, how are you going to learn? You know, it's, it's like asking someone to learn to swim and tell them to jump in the sea in a force 10 gale. You know, you just wouldn't do it. So I, I'm, I'm going to trust this person to practice yeah. it on me and, and not hurt, not hurt me. Uh, so Aikido involves, uh, it's about, it's a giving thing. It involves a lot of trust, which again, I think transfers into life really quite nicely because if more people could give and if more people could trust, you know, we'd be in a better world, I think. Oh, definitely, definitely. I mean, it's like, um, you know, trust is something that you have to earn at the end of the day, isn't it? You know, it's not handed to you on a plate. Same thing with respect. Martial arts teaches you that not only to just respect the opponent, the opposite, well, the person I represent. It teaches you how to respect yourself as a as a human being in general. Like take yeah. care of you, do this, do that, and everything. But um, yeah, it's good. It's good because, like I say, it's one of those few martial arts that teaches you, you know, humility, self respect, and everything like that, and learn how to just you know be your own best friend. For which is one of the most important things you can be in life is your own best friend. And one more most important question is. What would you say is the most important lesson to learn from martial arts? I think for, for me, it, it's been, you know, just it, just do it. Find a way. Do it. You yeah. know, I, I've always, um, as a kid, I set myself high goals. Um, my parents were afraid I was going to fail. And they didn't want me to fail, so they tried to dissuade me. And, and But eventually they came on board. Teachers thought, no, no, that someone like you can't do that. But I wouldn't let go. So, you know, dream big. Do not let go and make it happen. Things will get in your way. Find a way. Find a way to, to overcome those obstacles and achieve, you know, whatever it is you want to achieve, which is what I, I've, I've done. And, and I'm really pleased that things have turned out that way. That's, that's good. That's good. So when do classes run at Shudika? We, I, we run yeah. classes six days a week. Okay. Um, Friday uh, and, and obviously Saturday, the Sunday day off. <laughs> uh, yeah. Everyone have a rest. Um, so basically, we run adult classes on a lunchtime every day, um, and then on an evening we run classes for uh, what we call little dragons, age four to roughly seven, and then juniors seven to roughly ten, eleven, twelve, and then we we feed the cadets into the adult class. And again, there's, there's no hard and fast age rule because every kid is every child is different. You know, some children are more mature than others. Some are bigger than others. And so there's no hard and fast rules. But, but essentially, we have little dragons, juniors, cadets and adults. And that runs every day, Monday to Friday and uh, again on Saturday for half a day. So there's, there's lots of classes to choose from. Some That's people train every day, which is great. When that happens. That's the best. That's the best part of it because they, they just love this. It's this like this buzz they get from needing to be there every time. Because we're going to obviously learn something new today. We're going to learn something new from so tomorrow and everything and so on and so forth. Which is great because you're continuously evolving into something else, aren't you, Sensei? 
Yeah, and it brings a great positive energy to the dojo. You know, I've had people walk in the walk in the dojo and they say, "Wow, this this feels nice." And and for people to say that, that that that's good. That you know, that's what we want to achieve. We want the place to have a good energy about it, and and that's really important, um, especially for kids. You know, these days, especially, um, especially given you know, lockdown and COVID has been a big chunk of some children's lives, a massive yeah. chunk, and. So, you know, it's very good to have them involved in that kind of energy. Uh, and we link a lot of what we do into life skills. Uh, so they have to achieve kind of merit badges, which they, they may take um, a challenge to school, show their head their teacher or something. And if they achieve a certain grade of school, you know, we also reward that at the dojo. So it's always positive reinforcement, always rewarding. Uh, and yeah, it just creates a, a really good energy. It's a whole big family thing. It does, because like I mentioned, I remember when, um, as you mentioned, the whole big family, I remember when we'd all, we would come inside, we'd run around the dojo a little while to get a little bit of a warm up. And then you do the, the uh, I forgot the name of it, when you, you're doing that and you're coming down to sit, to sit on the ground, you're bowing to each other and everything. Like, what was the name of that again, when you put your hands together like that? I hope you can see it. I think you, you may be talking about Kamai. Kamai. Hands. Don't actually touch, they're, they're, they're kind of separated. So maybe you forgot that a little bit. But I yeah, it. I, <laughs> it, it's important. Um, and, and that, I, I mean, you know, think about the line earlier. Do you remember that? Yeah, yeah, I remember the line. Kamai is helping reinforcing good line. For example, if I stand in Kamai, and, and I, I can demonstrate this, um, I can have five, six, seven, eight people lean on me and push. Yeah. If my Kamai Wrong. I won't move. They're, those eight people will buckle before I move backwards, and that, that's yeah. a good we have uh, to make sure our line is good. But yeah, that was called kamai, and we have the hands nice and wide like this, but they are kind of apart a little bit. Okay, uh, my apologies. <laughs> now, thank you for thank you for correcting me, Sensei. I appreciate that. But, so roughly, because um, I know a lot of people when they first start taking up martial arts, they say, "Oh, it's going to take me, you know, ten years to get to a black belt." But obviously, depending on the form of martial art, how long does it usually take a, a student to become a black belt? And obviously, what is what dams do you get right after the black belt? How much, how further can you go with that? Um, again, from school to school, even within the same art, it varies. It, it absolutely does vary. But the, the universal average seems to be um, about five years ish from beginner to black belt. Um, at my school, we've had. Um, about three people do it in one year. Two of them were ladies, and yeah. they did that because they're trained absolutely every single day. So we're not, we're not going to put time constraints in their way. You know, they achieved the standard. They got to black belt in one year. Uh, but I've known people take a lot longer, and that's fine. It doesn't matter. It's not a race. Uh, it's it's the, the journey that matters. Uh, I know that's been said many times before, but that's important. Uh, beyond first degree black belt, to me, a first degree black belt just means you're a good student. Now, now let's begin. Now we start. Um, and then we start on the road to second down, third down, et cetera. Um, it, it technically goes all the way to 10th down. Um, I'm seventh degree black belt now. Um, I don't know of anyone in the UK um, of eighth degree in, in Aikido. That's not to say they're not there. I just don't know of it. Um, but it is a lifetime endeavor. Usually between first and second down is two years on average, second to third down, three years. So you, you, you can work work it all out. It, it, it's a lifetime endeavor. That's good, that's good. Uh, that's a great thing, what you said as well. A journey, it's about the journey. It's not always necessarily the destination, but it's good because it, it shows that they refuse to give up on themselves and giving all out to what they, they got to do. But congratulations to those, two, to those students who made a black belt in a year. That's amazing. Yeah, yeah. I, I remember. They're three tests. They were awesome. They were good tests. If you try, <laughs> you good. That's, that's it. Of course, of course. I mean, I wish we I wish I had all that time in the world. I could train every single day in Aikido and get to the flat belt. Well, uh, Sensei Robson, thank you so much for coming on today. I really appreciate this. It's been one of the best interviews again. It's, again, it's like lightning has struck twice with us. Uh, first, like a few years back at the radio station, now here with yourself as well, my YouTube channel. Uh, thank you again. Hopefully we're all going to be coming down to the, the dojo to get some Aikido lessons from yourself. And uh, it's been an absolute pleasure speaking to you. OK, thank you very much. And give me a call when you're ready and we'll get together and 
we'll, we'll have some private lessons maybe yeah definitely definitely i'll bring the team with us as well and uh, definitely get to make make magic happen again all of us thank you very much sensei and also good luck with the retirement and thank also you with the uh, new job that you do as well it's a great it's a great it's a great deed that you performed yeah loving the rescue with the dogs is great definitely definitely well, thank you again sensei Oops. thank you Oops.